Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to see about auto encoders. First, uh, let's see what is auto encoder. An auto encoder is an unsupervised learning technique for neural networks that learns efficient data representations. That is encoding by training the network to ignore signal noise. Auto encoders can also be used for image denoising, image uh, compression and in some cases even generation of image data. So this is uh, what is auto encoder. So uh, in a simple words if I represent it means uh, it tries to get the important features uh, from the input. So the main objective of the auto encoder is to ignore this uh, signal noise. So here you can see image denoising and image compression. So for this project we are going to go for uh, image compression. So it will just uh, compress the image in like a minimum loss format. So it's not like a lossless. So it is a little lossy. We will explore the whole uh, project flow uh, in this video. And apart from that, uh, we will uh, see about image uh, denoising also in a separate video. So image denoising means uh, if you give a noisy image means it will try to remove the noise and uh, give you a good representation of the image. So that is the objective of this uh, auto encoder. As you can able to see, it can able to ignore the signal noise. So that we can use it for image denoising and in some cases uh, even generation of the images. So using this encoded data you can uh, use that as a feature. So auto encoders is learned uh, using the neural network but apart from this uh, we can also go for some uh, traditional methods that is principal component analysis or uh, eigenvectors. If you get the important eigenvectors means you can also compress the image using the eigenvectors itself. So it will also work in a similar way. So that's enough for the theory. Let's uh, see the flow. So overall flow of auto encoder. So first we will have input. I'm considering the image. So input image. It will be passed to the encoder. Encoder and this will be a compressed image so compressed input image so let's say if you have like a thousand pixels in the input image means we can compress up to 15 or 13 values itself so that is the compressed image and after that we will just decode from the compressed image or we can call it as representation compressed representation we are not a uh, displaying it as an image this is just a represent so this is just a representation and after that we will have the decoder in order to get the image from this so using the decoder we can reconstruct the image so reconstruct input image so this is how the whole flow works and I'm going to use the similar flow for uh, creating the model too so this is the flow now let's import the modules. So for this auto encoder, I'm going to use uh, MNIST uh, handwritten digits. So that is the data set we are going to use. Now for the importing modules, we are going to import all the uh, layers and other uh, important modules for uh, model creation too. Now for the basic modules, import numpy as np and import matplotlib.pyplot as plot so from keras import sequential and after that from keras dot layers import dense on 2d so i'm going to use a convolutional uh, neural network for this and uh, max pooling 2d max pooling 2d upsampling 2d so these are the layers i'm going to use and after this i'm going to use uh, mnist data set so that is a uh, mnist handwritten uh, digits data set you can also use a uh, csv or uh, separate images from it and uh, load it here so you can do it in both ways so from keras dot datasets import mnist run this 
now import modules have been done now let's load the data and uh, do some normalization of the image so for loading the data we can have x train okay this will be x train comma underscore we don't need the output label so we are not going to do any classification that's why i'm just using underscore underscore means it's just a dummy variable test score now i am nest dot load data so this is for loading the data just create a subsection here load the data set let's load it now the loading has been done let's normalize the image so normalize the image data so now for normalization x train equals x train dot as type as type flow 32 flow 32 divided by 255 so i'm just dividing the whole uh, pixels by 255 in order to normalize the image so the pixel value will be in the range of 0 to 1 so it will be easier for the model to understand the input data and after this we have to do the same for the x test x underscore test and we will copy the same now the normalization is done so after normalization we have to reshape the data so reshape the input data for the model now x train equals x train dot reshape of lin of x train comma 28 comma 28 comma 1 so this is just a grayscale image that's why i'm having the third dimension as one if it's a rgb channel means we'll be having three here and this is the height and width so that's done for x train now for x test similarly we have to do the same and finally we will check the shape so let's run this now okay here it is x test so i'll just rerun it again now it's done so this is the number of samples and this is the three dimension of the input image so this is the height and width and uh, this is the uh, channel so only one channel we have so reshaping has been done now we will create the model so here i will say model creation now for the model creation as usual we have to initialize it with the sequential and for easier uh, way we can have it as a list so it will be easier for us Now here we can add it first we will create the encoder network so encoder network now I can have contour of so I will have 32 so currently we will be just decreasing the network in the middle so 3 activation so kernel size is 3 activation is uh, relu and uh, padding that is same after that input shape input underscore shape equals that is 28 comma 28 comma 1 
So this is the input shape for us. And uh, after the convolutional layer, we'll be having max pooling, 2D, 2, now padding equals same. So this is 10. So similarly, we'll be having another uh, convolutional with uh, max pooling. So I'll just copy and paste this. So here we don't need this input shape because only in the first layer we need to have the input shape. So here I'll just decreasing the convolutional network nodes. So I'll just decrease it to 16 and everything remains the same for the encoder network. And in the middle for the compressed representation, if you want that compressed representation act as a input feature means you can have some uh, dense layer in between but currently I'm just uh, going for the decoder network right away. Decoder network. Now, we'll be using the same. So, same conventional uh, 2D. So here this will be 16 and everything remains the same. But instead of this uh, max pooling, we will be upsampling the data. Max pooling reduces the data and upsampling will uh, increase the data. And this one we can remove. So and uh, here we have used conventional uh, number of units as 32 and here also we have to input the same. And uh, again everything remains the same. And here we just copy this and paste it here. So that's done. You can clearly see the difference, right? Currently, it's just uh, having large number of units here and uh, slowly it is decreasing. And again, uh, it is here uh, slowly increasing from 1632. If you want to increase the number of layers means so you can just have more conventional uh, layers like 64. And uh, here also you can add that uh, 64 for the model creation. So I'm just going with this model. And after this, I'm going to have the output layer. So output layer that will be con 2D of 1 comma 3 activation equals sigmoid padding equals same. So using this, we'll be getting the output and uh, that's it for the whole model representation. Now we will just compile the model, model.compile, optimizers, okay, optimizers equals Adam and after that loss equals binary cross entropy, binary cross entropy that's done you can also set the learning rate and other things if you want currently i am just uh, leaving it as it is now finally model dot summary to see the whole network okay here i just added an s i just have to remove this and rerun it okay now it's working but yeah, now it's working properly and we have like smaller network only, only uh, 12,100. So we can able to train it easily using a CPU. Currently this is GPU enabled, so it will be uh, much faster than that. You can also increase the layers if you want, but our input is size is so less because 28 and 28 plus uh, one is like so less. This is just a simple representation. So this is the model and I think I forgot to do the exploratory data analysis. So I'll just do it now. Exploratory data analysis. I just have to uh, explore how the image looks like. Only one or two images is enough for us. So to get some random number, I can use, so, so that is np dot random dot randint of so len of x test we are going to use x test for this so let's see what is the index 2765 6563 like that index number will be changing so i'll just keep it as it is 
maybe here now i will uh, plot the image so this is randomly select input image plot the image so here plot dot i am show x test of index dot reshape we have changed the shape that's why i'm just uh, reshaping it again so reshape 28 comma 28 that's done now plot dot show run this so this is how the image looks like but instead of this plot i can go for gray scale gray so this is much better so each time it will uh, give us this input so this is six and similarly we will show another image and this is one this is again four okay three so like this uh, we are uh, getting some input image and this is our uh, test images now the model creation has been done let's train the model train the model now model dot fit x train x train comma x train so here both the input and output are the same images we are just uh, doing image compression here that's why both the input and output same we are trying to recreate the images using the encoded uh, data that is the objective here epochs equals 20 batch size equals 256 and uh, validation data validation data will be x test x test comma x test so that's done let's run this once okay i have made a mistake in cross entropy so this is cross entropy entropy and this i don't know why it's not showing error in uh, model creation so now it is working so let's wait for some time it will be quick only initialization will take some time okay now it's started training and it will just uh, show you the training loss and uh, validation loss now after model training we'll be visualizing the result visualize visualize the results okay now the model training has been completed let's visualize the image so we are going to use the same snippet as before so randomly we will select it and uh, show it here so this is the original image that we are seeing now visualize visualize compressed image now we'll do the same but we don't need the index because we already ran this so now we need the predicted output instead of this x test so for that uh, let's do the prediction as a whole predict the results from model that means get compressed images okay now prediction equals model dot predict x test run this so this will save all the results here now this is our image now here i will use prediction of index reshape and uh, that's good let's run this so this is our uh, compressed image as you can able to see there are uh, some difference you can uh, clearly see 
you can also create subplots if you want subplots means you can uh, display it side by side but it will uh, increase our uh, code that's the only thing maybe we can do that it's not an issue so for that plot dot figure fix size 10 comma 4 we can adjust it later now axis equals plot dot subplots plots so we will be having one row two columns and here index will be zero now after that plot dot i am show x underscore test of index index dot reshape the same syntax as before 28 comma 28 so for the index only we just have to copy this paste it here at the start okay that's done so we are plotting the original image here and uh, plot dot gray so for the grayscale representation now apart from that we can also remove the axis axis dot get x axis x axis dot set visible false and similarly we will just ignore the axis for y axis means it will just ignore these numbers so it will be clear for us so after that display compressed image and this is for a display way original image okay now for the compressed we are going to do the same thing instead of uh, this zero we'll be using one so that is for the next index and here instead of x test we'll be using a prediction and everything remains the same finally plot dot show hope this works okay this should be in uh, brackets so here it is showing some error I think we will remove this yes this is subplot let's run this once okay this will be one and this should be two okay now it's working fine so this is the original image and this is the reconstructed uh, image you can clearly see we, uh, we couldn't like uh, see any difference right i think this was like much clearer uh, than the actual one so like this it will be very helpful for uh, reconstruction of a very older image or a noised image it will be very helpful for you and uh, let's see some other uh, example run this so again you can uh, clearly uh, see there is some difference in these uh, pixels but the overall representation remains the same so this is how we can do image compression and uh, i just did it for only uh, the 2d image and that is in the grayscale we can also do some uh, image compression for uh, 3d that consists of rgb uh, channel so it will be very helpful for us and this is for the basic example uh, i just showed you guys and if you have any doubts or if you have more ideas on this project means just leave a comment below and that's it guys thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more projects